Hello, hello everyone, welcome to QDesign, I'm Janine and in today's tutorial this is a basic tutorial about the eyebrow mask or design your eyebrows and I show you how to create this mask effect and um, how to work also with a, a different eyebrows or eyebrow design and use the retouch with the 2D transform pack you can create it a little bit smoother and I think are perfect for you so let's start with this tutorial okay let's start and we start with a simple retouch and go to your uh, face mesh so this one right here and we add a material just call both of them retouching um, and the material to retouching go to retouching of course so and make it pretty smooth next step is we start directly with the uh, face mesh for our eyebrows so go and add a new face mesh to it make sure it's in your face tracker and call this one I eyebrows mask just <laughs> copy the, this uh, name and add a new material. This material, double click on it and just go and call this eyebrows mask. And for this mask, we need make sure we have the face tracker texture extraction. So you see the face tracker texture right here and go back to the material of your eyebrow mask and go to flat and add the face tracker texture to it and make sure you see this uh, cutouts right here that uh, we don't want that so make sure that you go to your eyebrows mask and go to the eyes and mouth and disable these two so this is perfect Again, back to our material. And the next step is um, to add the material, not the material. We start with the patches. That makes more sense. So we start with adding the patch for our material. So go to your patch editor. Make sure you see your patch editor on the view. Show patch editor. And then um, double click. And no, let's start with the face tracker then add a 2d transform pack to it add the face tracker to or the face tracker texture to a texture transform texture transform and the 2d transform pack also down here to the texture transform now go to your eyebrow mask and add this to your texture. The cool thing about this is then that you can use this 2D transform pack and manipulate the transition and the position X and Y, the scale, the rotation and the pivot point. So go to 0 0.05 and now my face is a little bit down because what we, why we do this is uh, to make sure we have the same footage from up here down here so that the out eyebrow now is just synced a little bit about 0 0.05 pixel I don't know or a percent I think percent is the right thing and now I just show you the Photoshop data so this is the template so we I know where I am when I make the mask and I created this mask for the no eyebrow effect and also I use green very often so I see a lot about what I'm doing. You see I blended in the upper eyebrow and lower eyebrow and I also add some designs right here and also just for the example some eyebrows I just added uh, the Sanji eyebrows from one piece just 
export this as PNG every single um, layer I want to use later. This is our mask later and we start with this mask. So add the first eyebrow, just drag and drop it from my other computer. Make sure it's um, non-compression. Go to eyebrows mask. And then here on the alpha, I put this eyebrow design into. Maybe just a little bit higher. You see the effect right here, so make sure that the mask is uh, perfect. You have to, uh, to test a little bit, um, but this is uh, the pr a pretty nice effect. You see it's, uh, it's blend very well. And the cool thing is I saw a lot of tutorials where you just add a mask to um, this one layer and then put the layer down. But the problem is that the layer has a 3D shape so that you also put the shape a little bit down. So with this transform pack, you have more control over the position of your um, texture and make sure that it really fits well. Before I start with this uh, switch between different designs, I just show how it looks when I am put over this uh, eyebrow design. So another mesh, add a new material, design and I'll click on this one and make sure it's flat again and go to add a new texture in this case I just want to use the Sanji eyebrows so voila perfect so far I just want to um, put the visibility off and the last step I just want to show you uh, with a simple with a simple animation sequence how to uh, switch between different designs. So start with a screen tab, add it to a patch editor and then you need a counter, counter, increase. The next step is go to my eyebrows mask right here and add a new animation sequence. Hello. <laughs> so this is sequence eyebrow mask. Eyebrows mask and go to new texture in your sequence, animation sequence and this is what I wanna add, six, okay. Six frames, count to six. You see it right here, it's working. Current frame, Boop. Go to simulate touch. And now you can switch between the different designs. Make sure if you have uh, trouble so it doesn't work pretty uh, smooth, go to your properties and go to face tracker and highs so it could um, look a little bit better. But this is a pretty nice result, pretty easy to manage, pretty easy to create so i hope you enjoyed this basic tutorial thank you so much for watching i really really appreciate it and appreciate your time your ideas uh, your questions and it really helps me to keep my level high and hope so much i can do more tutorials in the future Please uh, leave a message if you like this tutorial, of course, like this tutorial and tell it everyone who wants to know this. Enjoy the process of creating. Bye bye.